Hello everyone. I um, I show you guys before how to clean the catfish. Now is the turn of showing how I clean the carp. So here is some little my way. This is called my way. Everybody cleaning fish differently. So this is how I do mine. want to do the old school way that they've been banking like this chopping down so you could do that way too but if you want to do like me nice and clean skin only if you want to keep the skin on but if you don't want to keep the skin on you could do the fillet way and you don't have to worry about the scale cleaning out all you have to do is just fillet and then skin less it out but if you do want to keep the skin on like me, I like to keep my skin, uh, the skin on. So this is how I do it. As long as you have a sharp knife, it's simple to do it, but be careful. It's slippery too because the slime, so you don't want to hurt yourself. this size so when it's come to the other size I'm gonna skip so that way my video won't be too long the cleaning fish this way we could clean inside the house without splashing everywhere this is how it is for you guys do it if you have a tool that you want to use that is sharp or better than this go for it but this is how I use mine okay. if you have a tool that you could clip it out like I normally do at the fishing spot just Cut it out. The ply or the branch or anything, whatever you want to use it. There we go. And show you how to remove this thing also. If you want to cut it out a different way, you can. Like I always said earlier. This way, just only when I don't want to keep the bone inside, and I want to keep only just the bone of the meat. You flip.
other side. That way you don't have to chop it. You don't have to use the other flies or things to try to break it out. when you have a good clean sharp knife because working in the kitchen if you don't have the right tools and the knife is not sharp enough it's not gonna work out good oh, by the way this is how it looks when um, I remove the bones on the back out it's very nice and clean worry about chop it but leave it you know just leave it on like that now I could use the bone and the and the head the head for the soup look hard guys. I know everybody have different way of cleaning the fish. Some say it's hard, some say it's easy, but once you know how, it's not that hard. But just have to take time, especially me, I have to take my time because my arthritis and carpal tunnel hands is not working as well so I have to take my sweet time
How does it look to you guys when you guys see this video? I hope you guys learn my way and make it nice and simple. You don't have to do all that butcher's chopping, all that. And um, for the caviar, you guys know how to do that already. Just remove it gently and then put it out in the plate. watch this cleaning I know it looked disgusting but come on that's the way it is if you want to clean your own fish learn how to clean it instead of let someone else do the cleaning for you nice here we are Sorry guy, I know it's a female. Most of y'all say catch and release, but this is what it is. There's so many carbs out there that some reservoir asked to um, kill it. So this is what it is, garbage. So I just keep the caviar to the side, nice and clean. Here comes the hard part, the head. Yeah, 
sleeve is coming down on me. Let me get my sleeve up. There. You don't have to use a butcher's knife. Just follow along the, follow, follow the line remove it out. to rinse it out with the uh, um, soap, water, salt with warm water, or vinegar, how you guys prefer to use it. Nice. I just told you guys that if you don't want to fillet, don't fillet. If you want to keep the skin clean like mine, you can. But if you don't want to, you could um, just cut it open. Then remove the scale without cutting just like how I did. Now I do this way. show you guys how to clean the catfish and this is the cart so i'm gonna make a mas masataki i don't know how if i could say it right soup follow up later when okay, the soup is the done. soup is done this is the head bone and stomach soup with masataki mushroom and um, some asian people call sub pine so that's what it is and i got it from my sister-in-law and um, I forgot to show earlier when I filleted the, um, the other size of the cart is I thin slice and then mince it down, pound it with lemongrass paste, um, fish, excuse me, <laughs> fish cake for teacher because he requests the fish cake and I'm over here taking my sweet time lacking trying to show off how I clean my fish but I have the food done on time anyway so that's the caviar with the head and the stomach and the bone with mushitake mushroom soup uh, if you're curious what kind of sauce is that's a spicy sour um, herbs roasted sauce spicy sour sauce to go with the soup and that's a uh, you could say my leftover fish sauce that I kept in the fridge. That's why it looked so dark with the herbs on it. Okay, there's my food. Carbs meal, teacher dinner. All done. Sorry for teasing families and friends, but that's what he want. Teacher want to eat, so I have to get it done. Let me go get him to come out and enjoy. Look at the fish carb. I got a lot of comfort line. Go with it. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching, everyone.